This is your time, pig. Prepare to be reborn. Oh man, I have no food. What am I gonna eat now? Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we're checking out the blur mod And guys, this is based on the game. It adds in a bunch of power-ups and items that give you some really cool abilities Like you could shoot TNT you could burn stuff shoot lightning. It's pretty cool And I'm gonna be honest right now. I have not played this game Let me know in the comment should I try it out play it for fun or something like that and maybe I will But let us get started here guys so what we have done is created an awesome obstacle course to make it more exciting. So we're going to try to like complete a bunch of tasks with these items. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So if you do drop a like, that would be awesome. And let us get started here. So in front of us, we have ore. It looks kind of like corn, sort of. Because, you know, it's got some yellow and some green. It's corn ore. That's what it is. So guys, first up right here, we have the shock power up. So to craft this, it's going to be redstone and a bunch of light. And I believe the light comes directly from this. Yes, it does. Look at all that light. I got four directly from one of these. So it's actually pretty easy to make the shock power up. So what we must do is follow this, burn to the ground, and then shock everything. It's going to be fun. So all we have to do is take this item, which is a giant lightning bolt, right click, and it shoots lightning and burns everything. It uses durability though, as you can tell. So what we want to do is just burn this down. You know what? I'm just going to go around a little bit. Let's practice here. Should I shock him? Oh my god, I already turned two pigs into pig man. Let me get the other one. Look at that. That's actually a cool thing you can do with stuff like this. So Iron Golem, I really want to get you with this, bro. Alright, there we go. I think I hurt the pig man from that one. Cool. Anyways, so as you can see, this item will make things burn. It's going to take a while to get through this stuff, but I think we already completed our first task here. I actually got through it this way instead of through all the wood. I think the Iron Golem's cool with me. You, you cool with me, bro? Should we finish him off? Let's do it. I mean, the fire damage is pretty intense. It looks like it does serious amounts of damage. All right, there we go. So that was the first item. And next, you must destroy the horde and then run to the glowstone. There's something like way down there. I don't know if the zombie pigman's going to survive this. Probably not. So guys, this one is the barrage power up. To craft it, it is going to be a bunch of light and a snowball. So really, all you need to do is find like one ore and you can make one of these power ups, which is kind of cool. So this one, to make it simple, it blows up everything around you with TNT. So I really like this one. Okay, I'm going to hit this. And here comes the zombies. Use it. Oh, did you see that? Look at that, guys. Oh, a baby. A baby's here. I don't know how I'm going to kill it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Back up. I'm, tr I'm in a hole myself. That is not a good sign. I think I might get him. It was like the weirdest way to try to kill something. All right, baby's down. Let's run. Let's run. Come on. Let's get out of here. And let's see if we can actually finish him off. Let's try it. Look at that, guys. So basically what it does is it drops TNT in every direction. So like one there, one there, and one on that side of you. So be very careful when you use it. It's going to do a lot of destruction. Don't use it near your house. It's a warning. Warning right here. Don't use it anywhere near your house. It's super dangerous. So just for fun, maybe we should spam it. Should we go with that? Let me stand right here. I don't think it's going to break anything. And just click it. All right, here we go. Look at that, guys. I think we can get down to the bottom of the world. I'm using a bunch of these, though. Actually, it doesn't look like it goes... It doesn't actually drop down. It seems to just be on the side of you. So, sadly, you can't dig down to the bottom. But pretty cool, though. I mean, it's going to destroy mobs. That is a cool way to fight, definitely. But if we head over here, there is the glowstone in front of us. So, probably the best thing to do is to change it today because it's really dark here. Let's go with it. All right, here we go. So, it is now daytime. We must hit the targets and knock back the golem. So this one, guys, is called the Bolt Power Up. It actually has Knockback 3 on it, so you can smack someone with it if you want to. It's kind of a cool feature. And to make it, it is going to be a bunch of light and an arrow. So most of these are pretty easy to make, but keep in mind, some of them have low durability. And this is very simple, guys. Right click, shoots an arrow, got the target. Other target over there. Very easy. Let me just smack this dude. All right, let's go for it. So if I hit him, it's got good knockback. We can't see it, though. You know what? Should I just let him out? He's going to be so mad. He's going to be so angry with me. Okay, come, come out. Come out. Can you fit? Come on. Oh, that hurt. As you can tell, armor would have been helpful. But as you can see, you can just knock him like crazy. It's got cool knockback on it. And I believe it uses no durability either way. Right now, I'm in creative because he could kill me in one hit. I'm just going to put him in this hole. It's a cool weapon, though. Of course, I can shoot arrows like crazy. You could spam it. Look at this. That is so much quicker than a bow. You could take out a mob so fast like this. 
So if we head over this way, we're onto something so dangerous that I had to like fix the whole course after I tried it out before. Alright, so this one. We need to run to the cave and watch out for landmines, which are dangerous. A pig went over one before, blew up half the world, and that's why it's so flat over here and after rebuilding it. Alright guys, so the nitro power up makes you go super quick. It's gonna be sugar with a bunch of light, of course. So we'll grab that. And if you want to make some mine power-ups, which are landmines, be careful with this. It's gonna be TNT and also some light. So what I want to do is I'm just gonna jump on one to show you. It's not that painful, but when you have a bunch together like that, it's a giant explosion. So basically, if you go on this, it blows up. It's a little bit buggy, as you can tell, since I'm kind of stuck here right now. Look at the size of this, guys. This is a pretty nice explosion from this. But keep in mind, it's kind of a work in progress item. So if you don't relog, you get stuck in it. So once you relog, that's fine. So keep that in mind if you accidentally go over one of these. So with this, the nitro power up, you get extreme speed. Look at that. I made it to the cave. I don't even think I, um, let me, let me try to blow one of these up. I can't even do it. I'm, okay, there we go. That scared me. Got a jump scare from a landmine. Oh, I found some of the corn ore right down here. As you can tell, guys, the items in this mod are absolutely insane. They blow up. They make you go as quick as the flash. Seriously, that was crazy. But next, we must use our shield. This is very important. If you don't use the shield, you will die. So this is what we have, guys. A shield power up. To craft it, it is going to be some light in an apple, which seems weird for a shield. But I'll go with that. Whatever. Sounds cool to me. And also, we have a repair power up, which heals you. So this one is going to be an iron ingot. So I'll grab that as well. And we need a sword because we're going to be fighting. So let me get ready with my shield here. Alright, use it. Right click. Okay, it saved me. It puts on resistance 3, by the way, for like 10 seconds. And you guys must die. Oh, God. Where's my repair power up? So this one, it puts instant health on you. So basically, the end of this course is a battle against the witches. And you have to use your power ups correctly. Because if I screw that up for one second, I could have died. Alright, witches, I hate you. Why are you fighting each other? Fight me. I actually want to fight you. I'm saying it. I want to fight you. Let's repair. It's actually really good because it doesn't use that much durability and heals you up pretty much automatically. Like, you can't take any damage with it. It's, like, super overpowered. I think we're all right, guys. And just to show you the shield, like, while we're not falling from the sky, if I right-click, use some durability, get resistance 3 for, like, 10 seconds, that's really helpful. You're going to survive through a lot with that. But we have finished the course. This is what I like to consider a work-in-progress item. It is called the Shunt Power-Up. So to make this one, it's going to be gunpowder. I looked it up online. It said it was for, like, destroying cars with missiles. At the moment, it doesn't seem to do anything. So let's check it out. I was looking up the actual game when I looked this up, by the way. So right now, I heard something. I'm here. What is, what is it destroying? I don't understand. I have no idea what I'm blowing up. I don't see anything around. Oh, right above you. That's how it works. This is why I didn't notice, guys. It actually blows up above you. I don't know when that's useful. You know what? Let's try something out. I came up with an idea, guys. What if we went so far underground that we could blow up the surface? I don't know when you'd use it in a survival situation, but I guess you could. As you can see, I'm blowing something up. Let's get down even further. Let's see what happens here. I have no idea why you'd want this item, but it blows stuff up, and that is always cool. So right now, I'm like down at the bottom of the world. I still feel like I'm exploding the surface. Let's see what happens here. Keep blowing up. And, oh, look at that, guys. That's actually pretty cool. I just can't see any way it's useful since you can't aim it. It just goes straight up. Like, I can't aim in this direction. No matter what, it's right above my head by, like, 100 blocks. And, yeah, guys, that is pretty much all there is to show with this mod. It adds in a bunch of cool power-ups from the game Blur, and they are super destructive. If you guys want to check this one out, the download will be in the description, as always. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, guys, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.